the things that we've developed is a, a risk assessment tool where farmers bring in buckets of soil from fields that they're considering planting a spinach seed crop in and we've come up with a protocol to assess the risk for uh, one particular disease called fusarium wilt in those soils. We're trying to um, come up with ways to, to manage that disease uh, sustainably and, and economically for farmers. We need to find out what they're looking for and that is how to get the rotation interval down from 15 or 16 years because we're running out of ground. It can really devastate a, a spinach seed crop, as you can see with this whole row from this one field. Um, so it can cause up to 100% yield loss, or if it's a moderate risk, it can simply uh, reduce the yield somewhat. It's important that we have a secure spinach seed supply and that we are able to produce seed for the growers throughout the country who are relying on spinach seed from Washington State. So if you've eaten bagged baby leaf spinach that you can get in the grocery store, chances are that the seed for that crop came from this valley. Many of the, the factors that affect fusarium wilt in severity are applicable from crop to crop so that if we understand the aspects of the soil that are making the disease better or worse, we can translate that to other crops. It is a hands-on, actual tax dollars at work that make sense and make money for the industry and for the farmers, and it's, it's very important. It's a big deal.